up, everyone? It's the John and Bay Area Throwbacks, and I have a game used San Francisco Giants jersey from 1987. Uh, it is a home jersey, and um, it's a player that, uh, you know, not a big name player, a guy who played, you know, just parts of four seasons in the major leagues, not just, but played parts of four seasons in the major leagues. His first three with the Giants from 1987 to 1988, and then 1989 Detroit Tigers. Uh, he pitched in 39 games, a uh, relief pitcher. And that is uh, a player who goes by Randy, hope I'm saying it right, uh, Bocus, Bacchus, Bocus, something like that. I hope I'm saying it right. But uh, so this is a game used version, uh, not version, a game used jersey of his from his rookie year, 1987. Um, to me, anytime I can get a game used Giants jersey uh, for cheap prices, you know, especially one I don't have, um, definitely something I like to hop on. After tax and shipping, I got it for $107.11. So it's a great deal right there. And um, something that's cool about the jersey, or the history of this specific jersey, is that being from 1987, that was the Giants' first uh, playoff appearance since 1971, which also means it's their first playoff appearance in this style, or for year of the first playoff appearance in this style jersey. Of course, two years later, they'd be in the World Series against the A's in 1989. But in 1987, the Giants did go 90 and 72, first place in the NL West, but did lose in the Game Seven uh, champion, and Game Seven National League Championship Series to the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. So and they had a rivalry with the Cardinals at that time. So you know, that's that. So that's what to me is cool about the jerseys the year it came from, and um, that. Um, I will say the Mitchell Ness version, they made the 89, the Will Clark and the Matt Williams. Pretty, pretty close to this version, the Gamer. So I'm actually going to make a separate video where I'm going to compare the two and show the differences. And, and But like I said, they did a good job for the most part. So, you know, shout out to them for that. So one thing, when I bought it, I did not realize how bad the staining was on it. It's a pretty... Uh, Pretty easy to see stain. I thought it was, didn't think it was that bad in the picture. I barely noticed it. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually make another video too of me cleaning this and we'll see if I can get that off because I've been pretty good at getting stains off the of jersey. So, anyways, um, Rawlings was the provider for the Giants at the time. So, there you go, Rawlings. Right there on the front, you got the double layered Giants across in that old school style that they wore until 1983. Hopefully you can see the close-ups right there. Uh, no patches, you got the sleeve right here. You got the orange, white, black, white, orange. Hopefully that's capturing everything. On the back, you got the nameplate with the last name and double layered black over orange and then uh, of course he's number 49 which is again not again but um that was another thing i like was that it was a number 49 just because obviously with the 49ers being the 49ers it's kind of cool just to see the 49 on the back of a giant's jersey so there you go double stitch there and then on the end the tagging for this for this Actually, on the inside, if you flip it, you can see Rawlings, size 46. There we go. Set one, 1987. He did wear two numbers that year, so um, I'm guessing he started with this number and then moved on to the, I forgot what the other number was, but, and also the Dick Dobbins. Um, purchase from San Francisco Giants seal, letting you know it was, uh, you know, bought from the Giants right there. Um, and then here's that nasty spot right there. So that's uh, really all there is to show. So now I'm going to bring this jersey over to the bed and do some uh, even closer up visuals. And then I'm going to throw it off. Here we go. We'll start with the bottom. Again, here's a close up of the Rawlings. Um, what do you call it? Tagging right there. Set one, 1987. Let's go up. Um, 
Oh, and by the way, something I didn't point out. Even the ham where it's like the the U shape, that's even how the Mitchell Ness, how Mitchell Ness made it. So good job to them on that. Here you can see the stitching from the Ronnie's tag. Here we go. There's your double stitching giants across the chest. They would wear this style until 1983. That'll be their last year wearing the style. And then they move on to 94 to a new style. There is the stain. Looks like, I don't know, blood or dirt, something. Maybe some chew. Chewing tobacco or something. Probably chewing tobacco. Who knows? See if I can get it off. Uh, we'll go to this side. You got the Rawlings word mark right there. There you go on the inside. That's the bottom of the sleeve. Uh, nothing around the neck, just white. Oh, you know what? Is there more tagging on the inside? Let's see. No, nothing, just that. Okay. We get the back real quick. And we got, I got the nameplate right here with the double layered last name. And then the numbering, 49, same thing, double layered, black over orange. And there you go. That's about it. No patches, nothing crazy about this one, but just a nice old school look. So now I'm gonna throw it on. So here we go. Like I said, it is a size 46. Uh, probably a 48 would be perfect, but I don't mind it. A little fitted on me, so it works out. So there you go. Good, good fitting jersey. What I love about, I've said this in other videos, but what I love about game use baseball jerseys is that, is that you, I mean, you can wear them. You know what I mean? I mean, for me, I'm 5'10", about 210 pounds, and I'm able to consistently get team issued or game use baseball jerseys that fit me great. Some are maybe a little smaller, some maybe a little bit bigger, but, or some fit perfect, but... I can get them football, usually going to fit weird, and they have the weird sleeves. Like, some of them don't even have sleeves, to be honest. Um, basketball, you got to be very tall to wear those. Um, they might be able to fit me around the chest, because a lot of times basketball players are skinnier, but they're just so tall. And then they obviously make the jersey even longer, because so they can tuck it in and have some of that. So, I, yeah, any basketball, even the short basketball player, the jersey probably go down past my knees, so that's not going to happen. And uh, I've tailored jerseys before, but not. I don't like tailoring gamers. I like to leave gamers and team issue jerseys as they are. So, again, this is why I like the baseball jerseys because I could wear something that was literally worn on the field by my team and end up putting it on. So, that's it for this video. I hope everyone has a good day and peace.